California could be on the way to its worst wildfire season in the state's history. The Mendocino complex wildfire in Northern California is now the largest in state history. Think about that for a second. Take a look at this map. We now have 61 uncontained large fires in 15 western states. It's an emergency. Yeah! All right, we're out here today at usually beautiful Pinecrest Lake. And uh, yeah, man, you can't really see much beauty out here today. Unfortunately, with all the local fires in California, especially in this area, they've been uh, taking a toll on the air quality, and I can't even see across the lake. Just kind of sad and amazing at the same time. So out here for a limited amount of time, was hoping to spend the full day out on the lake with the family, at least my mom. And uh, that's not the case. I think we're going to just kind of move until we see fish on the marker, drop some lines, and then um, see if we can catch any fish in this horribly hazy day. So this is all forest fire smoke from a fire about 30 miles away. In fact, we're kind of on almost like a yellow alert just in the event the winds change and the fire comes our way. So we got to keep our phones on us, stay tuned to the news, and uh, instead of breathing this smoke in at our campsite, might as well go fishing, right, Mom? Yes. All right. Thank you, Mijo, for taking me. You're, you're welcome. All right, let's go see if we can find some fish. We will. All right. <laughs> Day two. All right, getting everyone caught up. First round yesterday was huge skunk. So much smoke. I could even see like 100 yards ahead of us. Uh, day two seems to be a little clearer, but time's always a constraint. I got two little ones. Christina over here has two little ones, but I'm running without a fish finder, so I don't know where the school is, but I think we're going to run where I saw some people fishing earlier. It was right around the same spot. I saw a bunch of schools, and we're just going to drift a few times for a couple hours, see if we can get a fish on. This fish is going to taste pretty damn good if we actually catch one. <laughs> Better. <laughs> Call Joel, see what's going on. Um, I Do you know his number by heart? Oh. But of course. Oh, 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 Christine, 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 Christine. Get the net, Christine. I know. I'm Christine. I won't lose this one. Christine. Oh god. oh god! Keep pressure on him. It's a beast. Not really. It's a little guy, but it still counts. A dink is a dink. A dink is a dink. Oh, I see color. Oh, I see color. Okay. Oh, 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 let's go! <laughs> yes! Finally! Yes! Finally! <sighs> Took forever. Oh, I got your tongue and everything. Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> now we're going to be out for another two hours, Christine. I hope you know. You just drop me off. <laughs> excuse me? Excuse me. Uh, ex <laughs> excuse me. You're the good luck charm here. Dang, this is my first trout in like, like that I've caught. Man. Oh, God. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. I need the ch I need the views. Oh yeah, it's in there. Okay, you're gonna have to edit this part out. Cause. Cause you're gonna kill. Oh, not that bad. Oh, that was pretty funny. Yeah, just had to force it back down. Oh, give me that bait back. Nice. Oh my god. Wait, I turned the GoPro off to save. Come on, come on. Oh no. No, oh, I think I lost them. Oh, no, 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 he's still there. Maybe he's swimming towards me. Yes, he's there, he's there, he's on. We hit the honey hole, we hit the honey hole, we hit the honey hole, we hit the honey hole. Come on, Christine, Christine. I think this one's a little heavier. This one's a little heavier. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Get ready, Christine. Oh, 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 oh. wait, wait, I, I got him, oh, I got him. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. I got him, the smoke clearing the fish woke up. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Here he comes. Wait, 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 fix your, fix your, fix your net. Oh! Oh, 
it's a beast! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, that was way bigger than that. That one. was way bigger. Oh, oh, oh. Yes! Hell yeah, dude, we hit a school. <sighs> Hell yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, I've been waiting for that moment since I was like a kid. <laughs> nice, got one on each rod. It's a decent one. All right, guys, got one. All stock trout, stock rainbows. Whew, did it. Heck yeah, we found them without the fish finder too. We found them. Told you you're my lucky charm. Did I say that? <laughs> you fishy friend. All right, well, duty calls and we're called back to the lake. Should I wash off? Called back to the blood? shore, called off the lake. Nah, leave the fish blood on JP's <laughs> raft. This isn't my raft, this is my brother-in-law's raft. He has a fish hunter 360, pretty popular model. This isn't my raft. He had his set up. I was watching the kids and I was like, you know what? Let me borrow your raft. It's already set up and let me take a run without a fish finder with my lucky cousin over here. And boom, put two on. Let's go cook them up. So we're just gonna scale real quick. Run this uh, knife. This is like a really crappy knife that I got. I think a big five, so not ideal, but if you ever scale the fish pretty easy, just go backwards against the fish. You just wanna knock off these scales because when you cook them and fry them up, they're gonna taste kind of crappy. So we're gonna knock these out real quick. All the guts in there, just stick your thumbnail, scrape forward. And normally it's enough to break it up and knock it all out. Grab the guts, grab the gills. There you go. Just like that. Good to go. And here we have it, two rainbow stock trout that we pulled out of Pinecrest, finally. So we got here, you know, super smoky the first day. I mean, we were literally catching or trying to catch fish through a big cloud of smog and smoke and chased us off the lake. Came back for a second try without the original fish hunter. I was using my brother-in-law, so shout out to JP for loaning it to us. Didn't have my fish finder, didn't have all my gear. Lo and behold, with the luck of my cousin over there, Christine. Say hi, Christine. Hello. We were able to drift into some fish, and of course, as soon as we started catching, we got the call back to come back to camp to eat. But before we do that with the rest of the group, we're gonna try these stock trout just for you guys. So Matt's never had one before. I love this stuff. I haven't had it since I was probably his age, so I'm really looking forward to it. And of course, Christine's gonna dig into it too. Uh, and we have Tabasco, lemon, and some Modelo, of course, all around, or at least for me. So you guys ready? Yep. Okay, yep. so these are uh, just gutted and pan fried, really simple, pepper and salt and a little bit of lemon. Uh, up to you guys if you want to throw that on and uh, feel free to dig in. Grab this piece over here. Okay, yeah, well here, maybe everybody grab a piece and then we'll all, we'll all take a bite and try it together. Alright, on the count of three guys, ready? One, two, three. It's good. Yeah, it's good. That's good. Tastes fresh. fresh. Yes, yeah. exactly. Super fresh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, like when you get it from the store, I mean, it's good, but there's just kind of that missing kind of element, you know what I mean? Jacob, Joaquin, do you guys want to try the tails? Yeah. Okay, here they go. Mm. See this? Does it taste good? This is a tail. Is it crunchy? How does it taste? Tastes good? Good than the other one. Better than the crappie one? Yeah. You want to give a camera a thumbs up? <laughs> Here, we'll get in. See if this other, other guy tastes any different. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we started with the big one. Let's see if the little one tastes better. This one looks a little softer. Mama, have some mango juice. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's just got like a really natural flavor. Yeah. Like, yeah. I didn't put it, I put just a splash of Tabasco and it's like, um, I don't know if it's the oil or whatnot, but it's just, yeah, super fresh. It's hard to describe. If you're just going to a supermarket, I think it loses a lot of the flavor. It's kind of like if you get like fresh salmon or something. Yeah. There's just so much more flavor in that. Yeah. Or yeah. the yeah. farm bot or something. Yeah. How do you like it, Jacob? Good. Good. How do you like it, Joaquin? Good. How do you like it, Christine? Good. Matt? Good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just as good as I remember. Unfortunately, they all agree. So we're going to go finish these. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully, Pinecrest clears out for 2019. We'll come back in a year, and hopefully we'll catch more fish and uh, do another taste test. Sound good? All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah. Say bye. Goodbye, B. That's it. Mm. You should try this, Nard. It's so good. It's good. Right. Like mashed potatoes. That's Tastes different. like mashed potatoes. Gotta eat the whole thing. She didn't say pizza. Oh, I'll put it in my big French The most important part. Good. Ah! Oh, toast. What did you say? How about the head? Does anybody eat the head? Uh, last time you ate the head. <laughs> didn't work out too well, huh? Finally, finally.